I've already input the necessary code sequence. It won't be long before GW begins to establish connections with other external systems, and Arsenal gear becomes fully operational. Stop them before Just see GW and think Games Workshop can help it. Fucking British, what You've can you do? to find Emma Emmerich. She's the only one who can stop that thing once it's been activated. In the Otacon, sister. Emmerich? She's the system programmer for Arsenal Gear. I believe she's somewhere on level B1 in the core of this building. I thought the levels below us were flooded. I'm sure they won't let her die just yet, as she's the only remaining programmer for this project. According to Ocelot, she was being held in a locker room located in the northwest part of level B1. Cut transmission and get moving. Oh shit. You know, it gives you a life story, political debate, it tells you all this information. Yeah, now this shut up and go. Four. It'll give you fuck about, it? all the way to Emma's location. Give this to her when you find her. What is it? A program for disrupting the control functions between GW and Arsenal Gear. Take Emma to the computer room on level B2, Shell 1 core. She'll know how to load the program into the main system. A virus? Milk for That's the cornflakes? Right. <laughs> nice, dude. A biological nice. I like weapon it. designed to selectively eliminate personnel with a specific genetic code. But why do you have it? The Patriots had it engineered as a failsafe. And Ocelot forgot to search me. You've got to hurry. That disc is the only way you're going to stop Arsenal. Well, I've told you everything you need to know. There's only one thing that remains to be done. Huh. What's he doing? Honorable death? Now, kill me. What the? There's no time to argue. The final check for my Do it yourself? Fucking press. If you kill me now, you'll at least prevent the nuclear strike. Cut it out! Uh, do it! That's her role! Uh, oh. No! You're a, you're a shit shot, Raiden. That's abusing your right to free speech, Mr. President. Or is it ex-president? The president? Why did you... Alas, my finger must have slipped. I'll see you around, carrier boy. Carrier boy? Forget him. He did us a favor. Without free will. There is no difference between submission and rebellion. My only real choice is to put an end to this charade. Let me at least have the freedom to end it myself. Do not give him that gun. Find Emma. Stop Arsenal. This is my last order as your commander in chief. I'm counting on you. No, never mind. Don't need to leave it. He's dead. Prez? Prez? Prez! He's dead. Gonna fuck about with his body? I could teabag him a little bit. That's about it. Success from Hobocop. Thank you very much, dude. Apologies about that. That was quite the long cutscene there. But thank you very much, dude. It was indeed success. I almost shot a rocket into my face, but I managed to avoid it. I was like, no, 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 not again, not again. And um, the Prez almost jumped in front of the rocket. Although, to be fair, considering how it's turned out, it wouldn't have really mattered, would it? Although, I'm sure I'd have got mission failed if it had, like, dived in front of the rocket. That's why it was diving in front of the rocket. That's why he kept cutting up my rocket, because he wanted to die. It all makes sense now. I'll tell you something, a lot of the story makes a lot more sense now as well. That was a really good cutscene. Very good. Very good um, cutscene. Like I said, that's connected a lot of the story between the first and the second. Hey, oh, I didn't say I'd do that. Colonel, the president is dead. I see. I'm sorry to hear that. Where do we go from here? Your mission was to rescue the president and eliminate the terrorist threat. However, given the recent turn of events, we will honor the president's last directive. You must put a stop to Arsenal gear once and for all. 
Do you actually think there's any truth to his story about this big shell facility being a front for arsenal gear? I don't have the security clearance necessary to verify the facts. However, he was the president. I'm sure he knew what he was talking about. Aren't you forgetting that he was part of the terrorist plot? All the more reason why I believe his information is reliable. Huh? We're talking about a man who chose to die rather than risk a nuclear holocaust. Thanks to his sacrifice, the nuclear launch authority has shifted to the vice president, effectively eliminating the terrorist threat. Colonel, when you put it like that, it almost sounds like I should have assassinated the president to eliminate the threat. That was not my intention. I was trying to point out that there is certainly some credibility to the words of a man who chose death to protect the innocent. The colonel has a point, Jack. What about the information he gave me on the Patriots? That's a new one on me. I'll see what I can find out. <sighs> Raiden, we're running out of time. Find Emma. She's supposed to be located on level B1, in the core of that building you're in, right? <sighs> You've got to find her before Arsenal becomes fully operational. Hurry, Jack. It's up to you to make sure that the president didn't sacrifice his life in vain. Understood. Raiden out. <laughs> Who's calling me now? Pliskin? What's your status, yeah. Raiden? Snake, the president, he's been I'm sorry, Snake, and it do it. I'm calling Pliskin no more. There's nothing I could do. What about the nuclear strike code sequence? He died before his vital ID could be reconfirmed. Then the enemies lost their nuclear strike capability. But that Ocelot guy obviously killed the president on purpose. Why? It doesn't make any sense. They had to know that they couldn't launch the nuke if they killed the president. Maybe there's a way to launch without reconfirming the vital ID. Or maybe they found a more effective weapon within Arsenal gear. You knew about Arsenal gear? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me about it? You never asked. Am I correct <laughs> in assuming you also know that the big shell's a front for the project? You mean, did I know that the big shell... A fully functional environmental cleanup facility was designed to camouflage Arsenal gear? Yeah, I did. It's exactly what the President and Ames described. A massive cover story. The good news is that it hasn't really done much in terms of cleaning up the environment. So we won't have to worry about any toxic gas being released if we have to blow the house down. Right. And when did you find out about all of this? It took a while, but we uncovered the info around the time you took out that mad bomber. There's no doubt that Arsenal gear is being built here. Then it was all set up two years ago, on that day. All of it. Two years ago? What really happened here? I took these photos two years ago. I know these pictures. They were on the news on several websites. Hey, the photos I took were on a website, cool. Right. The reporters blamed you for sinking the tanker. That's right. Otacon, me, we were used. We'd hoped that by going public with photos of the new Metal Gear, we could persuade the government. At least that was the plan at the time. I've gone through VR training of the tanker mission before. Yeah? Well, I doubt it accurately simulates the events of that mission. I'd infiltrated the dummy tanker to obtain proof that a Metal Gear was under development. Shortly after I made it aboard, an armed group led by Colonel Gerlukovich raided the ship and gained control. I remember this. Olga and Ocelot Last week. were among the raiding party. Yeah, and him. Who are you talking about? A man that was supposed to be dead. Their target was also Metal Gear Ray. But Ocelot eliminated Colonel Gerlukovich and Marine Commander Scott Dolph, and he hijacked Ray. So he betrayed them? I don't know what kind of deal was going down. All I remember is what Ocelot said at the time. Something like, I'm taking it back. Ocelot then sank the tanker, along with the soldiers of the Marine Corps. How did you manage to get out? Otacon managed to have a small boat ready for me. That was the easy part. The tough part was not getting dragged down with the sinking tanker. Small miracle when you think about it. It turned out that the whole thing was a setup to lure us. Photos of Snake, taken by the Cypher, were released to the public. In turn, we became the world's most wanted environmental terrorists. It was definitely a move aimed at putting a stop to our anti-Metal Gear activities. But why did they choose Snake? Since the Shadow Moses incident, Snake became sort of a hero. I think the Patriots weren't too happy about that. You knew about the Patriots? Well, 
Yes, to a certain degree. It seems like everyone knows about them except me. They didn't choose Snake to be a hero, so they decided to do a smear campaign. I think the Patriots wanted to make an example of him so everybody would think twice before opposing them. That's it. They set all this up just to nail you guys. No, there's more. Tell you some. I didn't play as well as what this guy's playing on. <laughs> you know? The Marines Metal Gear Ray project, headed by Commander Dolph, was carried out in opposition to the Navy's Arsenal Gear project. To be more precise, the Patriots considered Metal Gear Ray to be a thorn in their side. Hence, they attacked the dummy tanker and stole Ray. They followed this up with a perfect plan. They immediately sent a fully loaded tanker to the same location and sank it. Then set up the facility to camouflage the development of Arsenal gear. And we fell for it. Two more puppets in their show. Colonel Gerlukovich and his daughter Olga? Both fell victim to Ocelot's plot. Was Solidus behind all this? He used Ocelot to get hold of Ray, huh? No, he was underground, keeping a low profile at the time. Then it must be the Patriots. If that's the case, what's Ocelot doing alongside Solidus? Hmm. Keep in touch with shit. We're Ugh. wasting time. We can figure this out later. The nuclear strike's been prevented, but Arsenal still has a massive payload of missiles to deal with. Right. If the opposition gets control of those missiles... Raiden, you've got to find Emma. Wait a second. Isn't Emma Emrick? My sister. What's she doing here? You got me. She's a computer whiz who specializes in neural AI and ultra-variable volume data analysis using complex logic. Holy How shit. How she got involved in weapons development is beyond me. Hmm. Whatever her reasons, we need her in order to stop Arsenal. Raiden, find her. I'm on my way. <laughs> it's like, my god, it was like... 15 plus minutes there of like, raw story and like... You know, piecing in the fucking rest of the jigsaw kind of shit there, man. Good shit. It's like it kept you in dark, like, with story for ages, didn't it? And then, like, what, about an hour or so ago? Like, saying, oh, yeah, it is Snake. It's like, no shit. They're not going to use the same voice actor for another character unless it is Snake, pretty much, other. At least make him sound a bit different. And then a whack load of story again there. Good shit. I demand that you hit yourself with an Akita. Oh, dear. I might have to oblige. I thought you could pick him up. It's like, why can't you pick up the president's body? Pick him up, shake him all around. What do you mean? I'm gonna shake a fucking goodie out of you. Let's drag him somewhere else. Shaking the goodie out of him. Free rotations. That should be enough. Look at no fucking goodies. <laughs> I don't know why I just found that funny for some reason. <laughs> yeah, that's, clear. Huh? that's what happens in Metal Gears. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, I see. I see what you're doing to him. I ain't doing no. He's going, oh. I ain't doing no to him. Oh. I'm gonna put him in this vent. In the vent, press. He's got no on him. He ain't got no on him. Right, just in case, I'm gonna save. Cause I don't want it to go through that cutscene and shit again. If um, I blow myself up. What? No response from Rose? Would be like that. Right, Helga, let's just get to a point where I can zone in and zone out. Just so that'll be a checkpoint. Right, here we go. I don't think I need to go this way, do I? But still. Right. Nikita's still on? Nope, it's not. Where is it? There it is. Let's 
Let's go for a look around. Where are we going? What if I... Hey, Here we go! I'm, I'm gonna go exploring! What?! Oh! The explosion fucking brought the radar out! Oh, there's a bar at the top left, isn't there? Showing you how long's left. I see. I see. There you go, then. Let's shoot a rocket in first. Rup! <laughs> I bet Rup. The wall might finish the job. For old time's sake. Russians! Oh well, let's just fall off. Here we go. I say for old time's sake. Right. Thank you very much, Helga. Well, right. Answer me. Right. right. Here we go. So I think it's said we needed to go down. But it's all flooded, isn't it? So I'm fucking gonna clear that. I'm missing any ammo in any corners or anything, am I? Nope. Nope. Do I go through here? Nope. So no, let, let's let's talk to the Colonel. Surely he's not blanking me. Right. Locate Emma Emery. Yep. B1 of the Shell 2 car. Okay, okay. Wonder where Cashier had gone. She wasn't. She was. She was. What have you been doing, Cashier? I'm sleeping. No, I've already got the node. I've already got the node. Don't need any more. Right then. So I need to... Maybe it was... Uh, wait, how am I supposed to sort this out? It's all flooded. But there was a door that you could at least hold. Hold the door. Turned around by himself. Get some air back. What? What do, what do you want? Maybe some helpful. Raiden, are you reading me? This is Atacon. What's your situation? Wet and miserable. This place is flooded. The seawater that's been pumped up is pouring into the building. I see. Listen, there's something I have to tell you about EE. -E. Don't worry about her. I'll get her out. She's afraid of water. Awesome. What? Yeah. When she was six years old, she almost drowned with my father in our swimming pool. She can't swim? Well, yes and no. We used to swim a lot together when we were kids. In fact, she swam like a fish until that day when she almost drowned. When the accident happened, I was in my room. I learned later that E.E. E. was calling me for help. She didn't doubt for a minute that I'd be there. You could see the pool from my room, but I didn't realize at the time that she needed my help. What were you doing? I... I was... So Emma survived the ordeal? Yeah, but my father didn't. So you blamed yourself and left your family? No. E.E. E. seems to believe that was the case. The fact is, I betrayed her. And you think she can't swim because of the traumatic experience? I haven't seen her since that day, but yes, I think so. I got a letter from Julie, her mother, after they moved back to England. In her letter, she mentioned that E.E. E. couldn't swim anymore, that she refused to even wear a bathing suit. Damn. If she still can't swim, we're in trouble. Level B1 in the core is pretty much flooded. Look, maybe you can help her overcome the trauma. You want me to help her get over it? Well, it's still gonna take some time to repair the cam off. Sorry, kid. Emma's rescue is up to you. <laughs> Thanks. 
An underwater mission. Well, this is a first. Look, I'll see what I can do. I suggest that you drum the map of the building into your head. Well, water wasn't in VR. Look at Definitely. It when you try to bring Emma out. I'm counting on you, Raiden. I covered most of the core when I had to take out the C4s. If there's anything you need to ask me, call me on the codec. I'll do that. And what, yeah, I want to ask you, like, how do we get in this fucking door? It, no, wait a minute. Is this even the right door to go to? Seems not. Okay then, right, let's try again. Let's go. What's that flashing green for? Oh, it's the node, isn't it? Okay. Is that the last bit of water? Please don't tell me that's the last bit. Ah, cool. Let's get some water here. Water? No, air. Right. A cat stealing cheese? Have they not seen the new laws that have been passed? Anti cheese stealing laws? Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's, I don't, there's, pro there's probably water. There's, pro water. there's probably air down there, but fuck it. I ain't gonna risk it. Right, try this again. Conch went ape shit on the door. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I did it! I did that last time! This is what cost me time last time, right. In there. And to the left. And to the right. We need that air. Ah, there's doors. Right. Now which door does it want? This one? Turn it! What's wrong with you? Well, that one works. There we go. What the fuck? Oh, it's the bomb guy from earlier. I've already forgotten his name. I've got a troubled past, man. I need to make amends. What do you mean, like, continuing from the same oxygen I was at before? I can't get into the hole! Oh. I can't tell which direction I'm facing. Right, here we go. Right, so we're here. Now how do we... Ah. That will do. May as well stock up with some oxygen from here. Down we go. Now where's the next hole? Damn, it's hard to see shit in here. Up there? Yep. Now where? Over there? Yep. Now where? Down there? Wait. Uh... Could try. Nice. I mean, a cutscene. I'm opening a door. No. Come on. Ooh. <laughs> close. Might as well use a Russian. Whip. Damn, that was close. What do you mean? Okay, then fine, I'll go this way. Nice. Well, that was close. I don't know if it's insta-death or not if you're out of oxygen in this. Different games handle it differently, don't they? Sometimes it's like if you're out of oxygen, you die instantly. Other times it starts to drain your health. Who fucking knows which way it is? Still ticking, huh? Yes, but you've ruined my forehead forever. Unfortunately, hell had no vacancies. Oh. Ah! 
Ha! What was that? Ha! Shoo, shoo, shoo. Massive tongue? He can definitely touch his nose with his tongue. You knew I was coming? You've become a nuisance. I can't let you interfere with Arsenal gear. The girl is just ahead. She is of no use to us now. But she served as well as the live bait for the big catch. Crazy Ivan sometimes speaks the truth. There's a con at the door. Emma's alive? She was some time ago. But the flooding has become quite serious. I wouldn't I can see the family resemblance. She's a mermaid now. What? Did you really think killing the president would prevent a nuclear strike? Think again. I didn't do it. <laughs> Arsenal is still armed with a purified hydrogen bomb. Purified hydrogen bomb? What's a purified version of a hydrogen bomb? This is no ordinary okay. nuclear bomb. This weapon is capable of heavy hydrogen nuclear fusion using lasers and magnetics to generate heat-insulated compression. It was a top-secret project initiated by the current president. And Solidus has no idea of its existence. The clean thermonuclear bomb is at an experimental stage and is handled differently. Specifically, it becomes launch capable when Arsenal is activated. A nuclear threat still exists. Six months ago, we lost everything we believed in. We were abandoned to take the fall in their cover-up. We were labeled as killers, responsible for the mass murder of civilians, as well as our own allies. And the public believed every word, turning a deaf ear to whatever we had to say to the contrary. Our only goal is to wipe them from the face of the earth. Well, the public. And destroy this world of deceit they have created along with them. You're insane. Insane? We might be the only ones telling the truth. Purified hydrogen bombs. There you go. Oh, sirens. Final hey. check for activating arsenal has been completed. All arsenal personnel report to your stations. Well, it sounds like arsenal's ready to go into operation. Damn it! You're still hoping that the girl can install that virus you're carrying around, aren't you? You know? <sighs> it does now. It's a shame you're not going to be around long enough to hand her the program. That isn't seawater, you know. It's a byproduct of the microbes contained in the pool. Buoyancy is practically non-existent thanks to the high oxygen content. Once you fall in, you don't come up. Take a good look at your grave. Show me what you've got. Boss fight. Because it's not against the helicopter, this one's probably going to be hard. Oh, not the jazzy tune again. <laughs> fucking crazy. I may as well use the fucking M4. Vamp and Vamp Zero Two. What's that about? Where is it? Yeah. It's higher than me, isn't it? Oh, you fucking flid! Duck somersault into the fucking watery grave. Seriously. That was a good start. Off he goes. Damn, how strong is he if he can swim through that? <laughs> 